Hello everyone and welcome to 10 things that don't make sense in Animal Jam. Let's do it. Why do the snake's shoes float by the side? Like, they couldn't add just something where you can't add shoes to a snake or something. They just had to make it floating by the side. With this one, I like to think that a conversation went down like this. Clark! Clark! I have a great idea for a new animal! What's your idea? We could add snakes, but to be more extra, we could call them pythons! And the clothes would be so good! It's a nice idea, I'll give it to you, but, uh... How are we going to make the shoes? Yeah, we'll, we'll, Jimmy said yes, put the shoes next to him and hit save. The next one we have is touch pool. It's a game where you hold on innocent little trapped creatures in an aquarium for three to five seconds. And each of them give you 40 gems. So, you may be looking at me and saying, what can be wrong with our two gods? But... Just listen to me for a second. We have that one masquerade mask that was never used from 1994 to 1998. And we have a great blue heron. Just look at me and say that that doesn't make wonderful gods. Does it? No. Don't even get me started on prize pals. It's a living box that follows you around wherever you go, and if you give it enough food, water, and love, it'll explode and give you a random item. Q, your artist raccoon dude living in your hideout. I mean, he changes your colors and your identity to become more exotic. Great idea, Animal Jam. I mean, it reminds me of that one episode of Sam and Cat. Now, you see, twice a year, they hire a service to come here and give us all fun, colorful hair. See the sign? Everybody dies? Isn't that cute? Nope, it's me. I find it disturbing. Creepy raccoon dude has a creepier older brother. His brother went to elementary school and stole the custodian's supply cart. Now, he polished it up at a car cleaning store and is selling stuff from the black market to random jammers. Animal Jam, I need you to look at me straight in the face and say that Crystal Sands connects to Mount Shavir. Are you too scared? Then why? Next up we have, why does Jamal Township get affected by snow, but the other lands don't? Is Jamal Township the only one that follows the rules of weather? I mean, seriously. Next, there's two things that bother me about roll, with five exclamation marks. First off, no one's that happy with five exclamation marks, unless they ate every single piece of candy at their local gas station. And second, why is this cute little hedgehog rolling on an obstacle course thousands of feet from ground? Like, poor little hedgehog. And then he falls into this portal thing. Look at sweet, innocent little Makuahi on the map. Look how small it is. So we go there and find that it is the biggest land in Jama. I mean, like, it'll take us a good 30 seconds to get around the whole thing. Like, we're still going. We're not there yet. No, not even close. Come on, we, we can do it. We're only halfway. Oh, I, I can see the end. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, wait. <gasps> we're there! Whoa! Comment down below if you want a part two, because I can complain more about Animal Jam's mishaps. Thank you, and see you in the next one.